everyone, welcome back to the show. If you're a fan of bike racing, well, our next guest has so much going on. I think we're going to yeah. have to speed talk. Uh, we're joined now by Christian Meyer. How are you, Christian? Hi, Christian. Very good, thank you. BC Super Week. Yeah. What is this? Uh, it's a series of races we've had. Uh, they've been going on for quite a while. And we have three, two sort of stage races, a little like three-day combined races, yeah. and then three criteriums midweek. And those have sort of come, come and gone over the years. We've had... Uh, a few different ones during the week, but uh, this year is probably the most races we've had in in the whole series. So we have nine races in ten days. Unbelievable! Wow. And the Gastown Grand Prix uh, goes tomorrow, which is I, I've watched the event uh, a few times in its history, and man, is it ever fun to go down there and watch you guys it on is. the cobblestones? It's crazy. How much fun is this for you as as a rider to be kind of you know here in Canada and back where you're from? And uh, yeah, for us, I mean, Super Week. It's where a lot of our racing started when I was I was a bit younger. And uh, so to come back and race, and especially of events like Gastown, which are really iconic. I mean, they've been yeah. around for a long time. Big champions have won them. So, you know, we've raced there in front of 30, 40,000 people, and the atmosphere is unbelievable. Electric. You know? So nine races in 10 days, how do you train for this? Is it year, like months? I, you know year what's funny? Around? I asked him this question earlier, and then I realized you just come from Giro d'Italia, which yeah. is well, one people, of the... people don't know that. So. Yeah, so the, the Giro is a, is a three-week stage race, so we 21 days of racing, and there's two rest days in, sprinkled in there. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's, we, it's a years and years of training. You know, you build from a young guy. Cycling is one of those sports that you mature in your sort of late 20s, early 30s. Yeah. And I mean, that's 10, 15 years of, of riding. Well, and that's to do that. really important. Um, you know, obviously you've gone on to do some really in interesting things and fun things in your career and, and you know, just finishing Giro Italia, but for young riders in BC to have access to this kind of series where they do get a feel of multiple races uh, over, a, over a short period of time and get a feel for, for what that does to your body and how you have to train for it. Oh, exactly, and these races are intense you know there's good prize money here there's good riders coming from all over North America and there's some European riders here too so it's it's solid racing you know and for the young yeah. guys it's it's a good taste of, of you know what's out there and how they can sort of how was it themselves. for you when when you were young I mean the first time you get into to a really competitive race you know with guys who are doing this professionally uh, how a intimidating be fun is it to, to get in there and see how you stack up and, and just feel it yeah I remember the first time I did Gastown and, and Gastown is a it's a difficult race because it, it's so fast and you know they have the cobbles and it's technical and it's this picture so, shows how yeah, fast yeah. it is. Well, you, can, you, you, you can see down the back through the start finish. You can see how long the line is of riders. Yeah. You know. <laughs> oh, and, yeah. And the thing is, that guy who's at the front going around the corner is just taking a breather and going slow. And you're down at the back, and because it gets so strung out, yeah. you're going so hard at the back, you never get a break. How much <laughs> so do you have like, to concentrate yeah, go, go, go. on where other riders are? And we're looking at a pack Strategy. of riders like yeah. that, and where you're going, and what's ahead on the course. Well, I think it just becomes a very... Intuitive? Like, intuitive and, you know, like everything's in slow motion. You know, it's like you're driving a car. <laughs> Wouldn't be the car for me, next, man. <laughs> yeah, the car next to you is, is going about the same speed. So it's like... True. You know, right, you have no measure. Yeah, everything around you is sort of goes in slow motion and you sort of, it's the same thing, you know, you we were saying earlier with, with crashes and stuff and, and sort of how you see that coming and just intuition takes over and you find your way through or you... you or you don't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Poor, uh, tuck and roll, yeah, poor rider in, uh, in, uh, in the Tour de France. Yeah. Uh, you know, but that's tough. That's racing. I mean, I, we were just looking at your knee before, <laughs> yeah. and I don't know if we can get it on camera, but that's from, from Giro d'Italia. That happened on what, day seven? Yeah, that was day seven of yeah. Uh, yeah, 21. So, I mean, I had to get some, some stitches in there. <laughs> Look at that. Away. This is from May. That yeah. must have been deep. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, and it was actually a pretty slow crash, but I just fell over and the pavement was, was very rough. Just right just, there for your skin. Uh, yeah. We have to talk yeah. about a couple other things. Uh, first of all, uh, the Fondos, the Grand Fondos that have been happening around BC, and you're an ambassador for mm -hmm. uh, the Valley Grand Fondo. Yep. Uh, how important are these to the, the fabric of cycling and, and bringing this into part of our culture in, in BC, which is one of the greatest places to ride in the world? Exactly. I mean, it's a fantastic place to ride. And the Grand Fondos really allow, so it's more of a participation event. You know, anyone can come out and ride, and, and you get that feeling of a, of a big group. And, you know, a lot of people can be intimidated by going racing and, and this, whereas this is a great way to get into the sport, yeah. have a feel for what's out there. You know, there's groups that are riding faster. You can do that, or you can cruise at the back it's however you want 
but then also how it builds around the community. You know, like in, I don't know, the Valley one, Fort Langley's really gotten around it, and, you know, and all the local little uh, businesses and everyone yeah. is, is behind it, and it just brings a lot of people it out It becomes a together. cultural tour and a, and a bike race all yeah. at the same time, exactly. and a bike ride exactly. and, and Now let's talk about uh, the charity aspect of your ride, uh, riding. You lost your brother to brain cancer. Uh, was he 25 years old? He was 25 at the time, yeah. And uh, you're riding uh, to help raise money for something uh, very important that could help cure people or help them live longer if they uh, do have brain cancer. Tell us about this therapy. Yeah, so it's uh, an auto-lit technology and we, we started a team this year and we're uh, I work sort of closely over the years with the, the Wedgwood Hotel and the Wedgwood Cycling Team and they, we've always tried to, to, to do something and, and bring it together and we've done a few different things and this year with Autolit we're trying to raise 350000 it's quite a bit, <laughs> to, uh, to buy a, a new machine, it's a laser for, for brain tumors and um, you know we, we're sort of working with the Grand Fondo and, and sort of basing things around that and, and getting people involved and, and just trying to, to get it out there, I mean it's, it's a big amount of money yeah. to raise but you know it's could save somebody's life yeah and this exactly. is an important machine there there isn't one anywhere in not canada. in canada no so this would be the first of its kind in canada and we'd have it right here in vancouver and uh it would so how can people help raise money with you i mean we have uh our facebook page team auto lit and uh you can go and you can sign up for the team and help fundraise or you know you get directed to you know we have a it's set up through the bc cancer foundation we have a page where you can go and donate I mean, there, there's, there's many options. And, Good stuff. Uh, nice. Go yeah. to the Facebook page. Uh, how does the rest of the year roll out for you? I mean, obviously, you're here for a while. You're doing BC Super Week, Valley Grand Fondo, and then is it back over to Europe for you? Yeah, so I'm here for a little bit longer in Super Week and eat lots of sushi, which is why I like the most. <laughs> is that what you do? Uh, Land in Vancouver? And I, every, I could go every day. Sushi's my thing. And we really miss that over in Europe. But uh, then I head back to Europe for the rest of the year. And... Uh, probably most of the winter and we're, we're mostly based out of Europe now. Yeah. Well best of luck. Yeah, uh, of course you can check it out. As we mentioned the Gastown Grand Prix it is so much fun to watch. If you've never watched it go out there Wednesday July 11th. That's actually tomorrow. Yeah. It's not up on us. And, and the, the Valley weather. Grand Fondo I know it's perfect is on July 22nd and if you want to help uh, raise some money you can go to the Facebook page and just uh, sign up or donate. Yeah very nice. We appreciate it Christian. Thanks, Thanks very much Christian. for joining us. Thank we're going to take a break. When we come back